If this is true, when do you think you'll put your faith in Jesus and turn away from all the things you know is disappointing God? When do you think you'll do that? Uh, my faith in him. As far as... I'm talking about sold out completely. All right, so I, I, I think it's too late to turn around. No. I didn't... No, it ain't too late, brother. So, so you telling me I can have I can stop having sex right now before marriage and still, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. Do you know what I've done against? I'm a pastor. And you know what I've done against God, and He still rescued me. Like He ch He changed my whole. Design. See, the thing about it is, I had to decide whether I wanted to give up. But there's a lot of things. It's, sure. Okay, uh, you said thieves, adultery. Man, yes. Uh, lying. Swearing. 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 Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's numerous of things, things that you've done that, you know, we, we, uh, yeah, all the stuff drinking, we do, drinking, uh, it's just flipping it's, folks off and yeah, cussing, you know, being yeah. mad. <laughs> I'm with you. Being yeah. mad, being yeah. frustrated. It's a lot of things that, you know, that I have to, uh, yeah, willing to give up. But, yeah. Um, can I, can I give you an illustration? I definitely, yeah, You don't think you can? No, no I, I can't. Yeah, 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 sir. I definitely can. Well, you really I, can't. can't. It's not going to happen. You really can't. It won't happen overnight. So let me give you an example. What you need is a, a father. Like, like my kids, they run around the house and they break stuff all the time. Who keeps paying it? We keep paying for everything they break. Right. We're not kicking them out the house. So here's the deal. If you don't come into a relationship and you don't make God your father and your Lord and your savior, then you're going to always break stuff, but he'll never pay the fine because you're not in a relationship. Dude, you're still going to sin and make mistakes. Like that. Right. That's, you, that's why you got to get to know his son. See, you always gonna make mistakes, but you need a father that can help you through the mistakes. Right now, you're on your own. See, if you keep breaking laws and keep breaking his laws and doing what you want to do on the day of judgment, you never let him be right. your father. Right. So, of course, he's gonna send you to hell. But if you let him save you, if you I say, God, I'm giving up best I know how. I may not give it up overnight, but I'm willing. I'm not gonna be perfect, but I'm willing to be perfected. If you'll just let God have his way with you, you come into that relationship. When my sons and daughters break stuff, I keep paying for it. Right. So, if you come into that relationship, are you gonna keep sinning? Yeah, you probably are. But who keeps paying for it? No. Your father in heaven. Does I mean, that make if sense? If I come in that relationship, then that's This is what he means by discipline. Not, yeah, but what, he which, said like, God, it, you just said it won't happen overnight. That means that today, you know what you should do. You get yes. what I'm saying? But oh, at yeah, the end yeah, of the day, okay, yeah. you get you got to take time to be perfected, not... You're right. Perfect today. Yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not ever going to be perfect, but you just need to be willing to be perfected. You just need your, you need a heavenly father that loves you that sent his son for you. You're going to break stuff even when you come into this relationship. If you decide to follow Jesus, you're going to still break stuff. But who keeps paying for it? He does. But if you never let him be your father, you break stuff until the day you die and go straight to hell. You need a relationship with Jesus, man. Just surrender what you got. Now, is sex fun outside of marriage? Yes. Smoke is fun outside of marriage? Yeah. But what is it going to cost you in the end? It's going to cost you your soul. How can a man gain the whole world? And give up his soul. Have you ever heard that? Right. So if you you smoke yourself right in the hell, suck yourself right in the hell, you might as well enjoy it now, because tomorrow you get hell for all eternity. But if you'll turn it over to Jesus, he'll give you sex his way. See, I have sex a million times with my wife, and I don't feel guilty about it. Yeah. She, I know she ain't, man, we can have enjoy yeah. what he's giving yeah. me, and I ain't she know I ain't going nowhere. I have sex outside of marriage. Dude, you just it know it's gonna it come for you. Yeah, you brings. know that you can't keep getting away with that because your conscience keeps bothering you. That's why a lot of people are depressed. That's why they keep going from one thing to another to try to fill this void that they have because they can never be happy. Because think about it, when you go to sleep at night and you by yourself and no music is playing, now most people are just depressed. They don't want to hang out with themselves because they know they ain't right. That's why they got to keep smoking or drinking or going to the next thing and watching this, trying to create some type of excitement in their life because they know that they're guilty and they're just trying to ease their conscience knowing that judgment is going to come. But if you just turn it over to Jesus, man, you can rest in life and enjoy all of the things that God wants you to enjoy but in his design. Tell me what y'all think. I agree. Was, I, I, I definitely, definitely understand where you're coming from. And it definitely is a different perspective on the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I damn, I damn near want to read it now. Mm -hmm. All right, I can get you one. I can, I can get you one. Hey, that's okay, man. I'm sorry. I'm I do. Sorry. That's okay. I can get you one and let you start reading. Yeah, I definitely want to, uh, you know, I, and I've never been a big reader. Yep. So it's like that's definitely a part in it too. And I can't understand the Yeah, it be so words and, like die no. <laughs> no, I'll get you one you can understand. Yeah, now sure. the, the reason why most people never understand the Bible is because they never had a daddy to help them.
The reason why people can't understand the Bible is because they, they never made God their father. So he doesn't help them. But if you say, God, I'm ready to follow you, come alongside you and help you learn how to read. And I'm telling you, I couldn't read till I got to the seventh grade. But when I started, I committed to Jesus and I said, God, I can't do this. Man, I started understanding a little by little. But now I'm not, I don't understand everything about the Bible, but just, but I have enough to help teach people. So that's where you want to get to. All right, y'all. What, what else? I, I feel like I held y'all too long, man. What <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all got any questions? And I'll, I'll, I'll run and get you a lot. We're gonna come back and see you. Since for real, for real? Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna come back for us. For yeah, we'll come back Sunday. for real. I really want to see you preach. Yeah. 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 Okay. He told me you for real. Yeah, for real. You put it in a way that I can understand. Yeah. All that yelling. Yeah, it's cool, but it just. Yeah. Yeah, you you definitely put it in a way that. I never heard it before. Wow, I well, appreciate that. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I definitely um, am happy that you pulled us aside. And really? Asked these questions. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I feel like I learned something from you and her. Yeah. About her, so. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, great. That's true. But right, I love y'all, man. Yeah, uh, Symphony <laughs> and Dean. Yeah. Yeah. Thank y'all for letting What's me interview. Name? I'm Pastor T. Just call Pastor me Pastor T. T. Okay. And uh, I want to help you guys, man, as best I can. So, all right. Yes, all right. All right. All right.